I want to take this moment to venerate Jezebel, Queen Jezebel. I've made a post about Jezebel before I got into it with one of these big influencers, woo spiritual people, that was trying to say that we needed to embody Lilith and to not embody Jezebel because Jezebel was a loose woman and Jezebel is a whorish spirit. This is how you know Christianity has infiltrated spirituality. Christians don't read the Bible and neither do spiritual people. I've read the Bible, I've read the Sefer, I've read the Lost Books, I've read the Apocrypha. I was really into truth seeking when I was a Christian and then it led me right the f out of that religion. But with that being said, let me explain something to you Christians and to you so-called spiritual woo-woo people who don't know what you're talking about. Jezebel was not a loose woman. Jezebel was a queen. Jezebel was married to King Ahab. The Hebrews, Paul and Peter and the crew, pulled up to Ahab and told him that they were told by God for him to sell a portion or his property and donate it to them. When his wife Jezebel found out about this, she jumped his ass and pretty much said, in today's terms, why didn't you talk to me about this? How could you do something like that? He's like, you're right, I'm tripping, you know. She didn't say not to give it to him, but don't give all of our sh away to these people that's starting this new religion. Ahab was going to the Hebrews and was like, hey, I'm gonna have to back out. I can help you, I can give you this. So, they killed him, or God killed him. And then when they confronted Jezebel, Queen Jezebel, not whore, not a loose woman, she was a queen, defending her husband. When they confronted her about it, he said, yeah, that's why you're going to die with your husband and the dogs will eat you. All for property, <laughs> money. So of course, patriarchy, the Roman empire that created this painted this narrative that Jezebel was a whore, Jezebel was a loose woman. She never cheated on this man. She was very loyal to her husband. To death, she died. Pretty much trying to protect her husband's investments. So how does that make her a whore? If anything, it makes her a bad bitch. You wanna assign an energy to her? You wanna put her in a negative light? I would say alpha female, strong woman, feminism. I mean, I don't know, just throw any title. I don't give a shit. But for you all, and this spiritual woman I saw saying this today, oh, she had all the things, she had all the shaman things on. That's a loose woman regurgitating everything her Christian granny said, everything that's been going on for generations and generations. And this is why they call us the devil.